Less rock. More talk. Turn the radio off. I think there's going to come a point within the next 6 to 18 months where I'm going to have to take myself off Facebook. Me too. I feel like I'm watching the world burn. I'm watching Rome burn on Facebook. Everybody is wants to be angry about something, and, and I hate that term. If you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. I hate when people try to tell me what to be outraged about. As you can tell, it outrages me. Hey, hey, you're the sh- they're cultivating the poor, the weak, the uneducated, and they are telling them lies. They're telling them propaganda, and they are telling them that they have to go out and they have to protest something that will likely help them in the next 10, 20 years. Kyle, you rock, honey. I know for a fact that Dick Cheney eats nothing but steak. I saw it in a documentary on the Current Channel one time. Do they still have those little icons that say, like, if you're more desiring of sex on OKQ? OK Thankfully, no. Yeah, because that made every dude look like a creep. You have to go back and change your answers. You have to be cognizant of that. But then, of course, it makes it a lot easier for you to pick which girls you're going to message. The panic, Kyle. The panic is setting in. I don't know if you know this, but the government can spy on your cell phone usage without you knowing. And I'm thinking to myself, we can double, triple, even quadruple our listener base because I found the list from Forbes.com of the of the um, words that you say that, that forces the government to monitor you. Mm. So I rattle off about five of these. We have a whole room full of national security agents. They have to listen to the show. Assassination attack, domestic security drill exercise. Three, two, one. I would like to welcome our brand new listeners from the National Security Agency tuning in to turn the radio off for the very first time. You can further monitor my activity by following me on all my social media sites, Facebook.com slash TTRO show and Twitter.com slash TTRO show. Let's keep them listening. Infidel! I don't really know what you guys are talking about. Am I the only one who is getting sick of North Korea's crap? I mean, they're, they're like a petulant child screaming for attention in a supermarket. See, China and Russia could have been allies to North Korea, and then maybe there would have been something sort of formidable there. But definitely North Korea would have been the third much smaller... It'd be Chris Bosh. ...adversary. Right. Yeah. North Korea would be Chris Bosh. It might That's even an be... awesome analogy. It may even be Ray Allen. Mike, this is your girlfriend. Mad. Here's the thing about writers, okay? You're either full of crap, or let's say that you didn't know that 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 all these players were juicing. Because it sounds like everyone was juicing from 1994 on. If you didn't know people were juicing, well, then you're a terrible journalist. Exactly. So which one is it? Then you're not being competent. Things happen really quickly around here. Last week or the week before Doma was overturned. And then the next day, I actually went to my second gay wedding. And Kyle, you and I uh, went to our first gay wedding together. It just goes to show you just what an average wedding it was. There was a photo booth. Right. We had cake. Everything. Right. There were vows exchanged. Everything was normal. The, the buffet consisted of roast beef, mastacholi, and rolls, just yes. like a straight wedding. And there was a chicken option. It sure was. Some kind of potato. There was also the bisexual orgy at the altar of the church that happened right before we got there. But after that, once dinner hit, it was a completely normal event. Wait, you forgot about the Bible burning. Become a fan on Facebook at www.ttroshow.com. It's Turn the Radio Off. It's going good, going good.